It's that time again, new year, new gear, 2023 edition, and man, is my wife gonna flip. What's up everybody, I'm Dan, and welcome back to Backpacking Adventures. It's the beginning of 2023, and spring is right around the corner, I think actually a couple days, and it's soon time to start a whole bunch of backpacking trips. And I got some new gear to go along with this new year. And today I'm gonna to go over what I bought and why I got it. So for the past couple of years, I've been switching off using my hammock setup mainly as opposed to my tent setup. So 2018 and 19, I used 100% of my hammock setup. 2020, I switched over to a tent, used that about, I would say 95, 99% of the time. 2021 was kind of a mix. It was about a 50-50 mix between my hammock and tent. Last year, was again about a 90% using my hammock. So this year, it's gonna be primarily, I'm gonna be using a tent this year. Last year, as you know, I had purchased the Durston X-Men Pro 2, their Dyneema version of their tent, and it's a two person tent. So I only got to use that once last year. And so this year, I really wanna get a lot of use out of that. So this gear, the new gear that I bought, a lot of it, not all of it, but a lot of it is tailored toward using a tent. So the first thing, is a new sit pad, I guess, slash sleeping pad. This is the Gossamer gear. This one is, a, well, this is the 1 8 inch pad and it is foldable. It's kind of like an accordion. It has little creases in it, if you can see, and it folds up. And opposed to my older one, which you just roll up. I didn't like that very much. I didn't realize they come in a version that you can fold it. Now this version, is about an inch wider. This is 20 inches wider. And my other version is 19 inches. So it's about, there's about an inch difference between the two. So that's good because I wanna use this under my sleeping pad um, at night when I use the tent. So this will help protect it. This is also, I believe about a foot to two feet. Don't quote me on that. You can check out um, the link in the description and get the, the, the specific details but it is, I think, two panels longer than my other one. So it's longer, it's not that much heavier, it's only three ounces, as opposed to my other one was 2.7 ounces, I believe. So it's still very light, it can fit in your backpack, which I like, and this fits up against your back. If you have a place in the back of your backpack where you can put it up against your back, this, it'll, it'll carry much better. So I'm really excited to try this one out. So now the biggest purchase of this year, and this is really gonna upset my wife, I got two new top quilts. I got a 30 degree top quilt and a 20 degree top quilt. So these are the solo quilt from Z-Packs. And these things are incredibly light. As you can see, they pack down incredibly small. And I am really excited for these. Now these are top quilts. I got these mainly for the ground, but I'll be using these in the hammock as well. So they're interchangeable to me. So I kind of like buying quilts that I can use both in my hammock and on the ground. Because a lot of hammock quilts, they're not as wide because you don't need that much material. But I really don't feel like buying two quilts, having a, a 20 degree you know, top quilt for a hammock and then having to buy a whole nother top quilt for the ground. So one for both. And like I said, these are from Z-Packs and I wanted something different. A lot of my quilts are from Hammock Air. I have a couple from Enlightened Equipment. Um, I wanted something different and I wanted lighter. And also uh, I wanted to try a shorter version because I always bought like the standard version. I can take it up over my head. These are the short version. So I'm about five, seven and a half, roughly five, seven, five, seven and a half. So these actually fit per uh, perfectly. And they're a little bit lighter, but it's really not so much the weight as it is getting a smaller quilt. It's cutting down on some bulk and that makes it a lot easier for me to pack my backpack. They also come with these two stuff sacks, speaking of packing them down. And these are Dyneema stuff sacks and they come with it. And they also come with the, the pad straps to strap it down to your pad um, in those cold, cold nights. This is a 30 degree and a 20 degree. Now, that is not comfort. I looked on Z-Pack's website. They haven't been tested by the new standards, but they consider these in transitional. So at 20 degrees, you're probably gonna start feeling cold and at 30 degrees, you're gonna start feeling cold. So what I considered these 
is basically, this one is a 30, but I'm considering it more towards a 40 degree because I'm willing to bet it'll be very comfortable at 40. Same goes with this. This is a 20 degree quilt. So probably 25 to 30 degrees, you're gonna be comfortable. So still warmer than my previous quilts I use, like for summer and fall, but uh, a lot lighter. The inside and out of these are made of 7D fabric and that's, they're kind of, you have, you're gonna have to be careful with them. So, and I'm usually pretty careful with my gear anyway. So um, with seven denier, just gotta be careful. These are both filled with 900 power down tech goose down and they're treated to be water repellent. So the outside is treated and the down is treated. So if it gets wet, it'll act a little bit more like a synthetic bag than it will be a down bag, which is a big plus and another reason why I bought it. The weights of these, this is the 30 degree, it is 12 ounces and the 20 degree is 17 ounces. So these are both much lighter than my equivalent 40 degree bag back there and my 20 degree back, bag back there. So, and I will be using these again, mainly for the ground, but they're gonna be, I'm gonna use them for my hammock too. Next on my list is the Thermarest NeoAir X-Lite NXT or Next or whatever they call it. I got this because this is an upgraded version than the last Thermarest Neo X Lite. What are the upgrades? This has a slightly higher R value than the previous version. I can't remember what the previous version is, but this one is 4.5, which can get you into some really pretty cold weather. And the other upgrade they made is everyone, the one downside to all these pads, these Neo X lights, were that, especially the newer versions, is that they, they sound like a chip bag. They were very, very noisy. They claim this is 83% quieter. And I did inflate this and inflate my other x Lite pad like this, and it, it is noticeably quieter. But that never bothered me because I'm usually hiking alone, so it doesn't really bother me. Another upgrade is that the previous version is two and a half inches in loft. This is three inches in loft, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable. I've never bottomed out with my other pad unless I was sitting directly straight up. I could kind of feel it. Other than that, sleeping on it, I had on my side, nothing. Nothing ever touched the actual ground. It never bottomed out. So this is gonna be even more comfortable. Now, the difference with this version, this is about 13 ounces, and this is not the wide version. So I'm hoping I'm not gonna regret that, but I got the wide version before, and this is right, just the regular version. Other versions are regular wide. This is only 20 inches wide. So I'm hoping I'm not making a mistake with that, um, but we'll try it out. Worst comes to worst. My niece can use this. I'll use my other pad again. And with length, this is 72 inches long, which is just the same size. Weight wise, this is 13 ounces. My wide version on my other X Lite is 15 ounces. So not much of a weight savings, but again, the difference in size between the two, this one packs down much, much smaller. So now that leads us right into the next one that goes with the air pad, which is a new pump. This is the Flex Gear mini pump with a light. So this thing, I don't know. It, I didn't think I would like this because it is a little bit heavier, but and a little bit bulkier, but it comes with a light and the light is really, really bright. It also, the pump, the only downside, it's a lot louder than my other pump. Here is my other pump. This one is specific to the NeoR X Lite, to that new wing, wing lock valve that they have. And if you see, they're pretty comparable in size. This is about two and a half ounces. This is three point like one or two ounces, just by itself and with, and with one of the attachments. But the difference is this has a light and it's rechargeable. It's a 13, or 1,300 milliamp rechargeable battery and it charges with USB-C and it charges pretty fast. So the other, with this, with the other light, I was taking the Lucy light, which is rechargeable by solar. That weighs two and a half, this weighs two and a half, that was five ounces. So this is saving me around two ounces because it's a light and it's the air pump. Now, when I take my hammock, I'm not gonna take this. I'll probably just take my Lucy light because I love that little light, works great. Um, but this thing works great. It comes with a bunch of attachments for different things and one that fits the x light, and it comes with a little carry bag. You can carry everything. But I'm only gonna be carrying the one I need it for, and that's that works for the x light. This thing fills up in, I would say, double the time 
that the other one does. And that's probably why it's louder. It has a lot more power. So really looking forward to this. I got this through, I think, Hilltop Packs. Really, really excited about this. So I'm changing how I'm gonna be packing my backpack this year. And with that comes new ditty bags, new dry bags or whatever you wanna call them. So I bought a bunch of the zipper dry bags from Hilltop Packs. Forget what this material is. It's, I think it's Echo Pack, a little bit noisy. But I got these mainly because I used to use similar kind of, of bags in the past to pack. And then the last couple of years, I've been putting everything in one ditty bag. Well, I wanna start putting more stuff inside my backpack because my electronics and stuff, I don't use them during the day, mostly. I used to just stuff everything into one big ditty bag and I kept it on the outside of my pack in the back. Well, with all my stuff, my first aid and everything that went in there, my repair kit, everything that went in there, my electronics, it was almost like a pound and a half. So that was a pound and a half that was a pretty good distance away from my back. So that puts more force down on your shoulders. So I'm splitting it out and I got the green one for the electronic bag. Now this is their large version and I'll have all my electronics in it. This will go inside my backpack. This is my new hygiene kit. And this always goes, stays in my food bag. So this is my smell, this is everything smellable. That goes in my food bag. This is the medium size bag. Fits everything I need. This will be my ditty bag that goes on the outside of my pack. And uh, I don't have it filled yet. I just still didn't transfer everything over, but that will go on the outside, but it won't have much in it. This is a small version and I use this one. This has all my emergency and repair. So it has extra water filling ta filter tablets, a mini ferro rod, whistle, compass, sewing kit, patches for my uh, Thermarest, and patches, all kinds of Dyneema patches and Dyneema tape, super glue, you name it. It's in here. This is my emergency slash repair. This is this other small one that I'm gonna use as my wallet. I have a small one before, um, but this will hold my wallet cards and keys in it. And that'll just sit and stay in either my electronics bag or my uh, ditty bag. The last one is another large bag. And this is for my camera gear. This has my batteries, uh, cleaning kit, the, the whole nine yards, everything I need for my camera. And it doesn't include lenses um, or the tripod, but this will stay inside my pack as well. Next on the list, another one from Hilltop Packs. I love this food bag. This thing is huge. I just got a brand new one. And you can see the shirt. And you can get this shirt on my wife's Etsy shop. Link in the description. And this, these are really nice. I also got the spoon stash. You can't really see it in here, but there's a little tiny pocket where you can keep your, your spoon in. But I really liked my other food bag from Hilltop Packs and it was just getting dingy and, I, and plus it had my picture on it from about two years ago. And since I lost all the weight, it doesn't even look like me anymore. So wanted to get a new bag and this is it. So I'm looking forward to using this as well. It only weighs 1.9 ounces and it's totally customizable. Anything you can put on here, this, this, different things, wording, whatever. It's very customizable and it's pretty neat. I mean. It, who wouldn't want something that's customized? And the next thing I got is brand new trekking poles. These are the Tiger Paw Carbon trekking poles. These things are light. I got these at through Hilltop Packs and I'm really looking forward to using a new pair. If you've watched my videos, my trip videos over the past two years, you know I've been using the CNOC trekking poles and the reason I got the CNOC trekking poles back in 2020 was these are one of the only versions of trekking poles that extend to the height you need for the Altiplex. Well, there's two reasons why I switched them out. Number one, they fall apart. I bought two pairs now. These things are not cheap. These things are expensive. I bought two pairs to use for replacement parts and they constantly, if you watch my videos, you'll see they constantly fell apart. I broke them a couple times because I fell on them and snapped them. That's on me. That's not the trekking pole. They also, they've been falling apart. So if, I don't know if you can see this, but I had to glue them here and here all the time. And now this is starting to get loose and I just had it. So I don't use the Ultiplex anymore very much. 
and I'll be using these now and they're the they're about they're the same weight. These don't extend to the same height, but I also have a pole jack from z packs that I can use if I ever want to use my Altiplex. And they're they're made of carbon fiber. They are they weigh 13 ounces for the pair, which is I believe the same as the Cnoc or very close. And these are the cork. And also, if you notice, these are metal. These aren't plastic. The Cnoc ones are plastic and I broke them, broke them a couple times. And another thing I really like about it, if you can see it, the numbers on here are very big. And with me, I mean, I'm getting old, I'm in my fifties. I need reading glasses. I can't see it on the Cnoc, but I have to get my reading glasses to make sure that I've set them back to the right length. And here, they're, they're bright. I mean, they're big, I can see them. Which is a very big plus for an old guy like me. And the last, new piece of gear that I bought um, that's worth talking about is I did buy a new backpack. It is not here yet. It is the Light AF Curve 40 frameless pack. And yes, it is bigger than my other backpacks. And there's, you know, a reason for that. Um, this year I had purchased, I had purchased a whole new camera setup, new camera, a whole bunch of new lens, telephoto, tripods. I'm going to be taking a, a full length, full standing tripod on most of my trips. I have a little bit more camera gear because I want my trips to be a little bit more focused on filming and photography since I've been really getting into that over this past, you know, six to eight months. And so my camera gear went from roughly a pound and a half to four pounds. So I added a lot of weight with my camera gear. I also added a lot of bulk. Also, since I'm repacking my backpack or repacking how I pack my backpack, I'm gonna be putting more stuff in the backpack, so I need a little bit more volume. And I think 40 will be probably, it may even be overkill, but I did get a fully padded attached hip belt with this. I don't like wearing hip belts normally, but I am adding a little bit more weight. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much because over the years, I've lightened up the gear I bought, like my shelters, I have um, lighter clothes, and I just, my, my overall loadout is lighter, so I can bring a little bit more stuff. So even with all my camera gear, for a five day trip with food, water, and everything, I have estimated that my, my total pack weight with water and everything will only be about 24 or 25 pounds. So that's still pretty light, but I got the hip belt because, you know, I stopped using a hip belt back in 20, I think late 2018 or 2019. And if you look at this picture, you can see, you know, I had, it was not comfortable for me. I had the hip belt on. I couldn't put it up here where you kind of need it. It was real low because of, well, I had that big belly. So, and it would rub and it would cause a lot of pain and everything else. So I really worked on lighting my gear so I didn't need one, but now I'm adding more stuff back in. I want to try it. I want to try out having the hip belt and to go with that, I have, these I already had, but they're hip belt pockets. So yeah, I'm gonna be having more pockets. And that's one thing that worries me because the more pockets you have, the more you'll be adding stuff to fill them up. And with this one, I did also get a new chest pocket. I really love the Hilltop Packs pockets, but Light AF sells one that is zipper. So it's a lot easier, doesn't come open. Same amount of room, same concept with the pocket, but I just wanted to try out this with the zipper. So I'm really looking forward to my new backpack. I should be getting that in a few weeks, hopefully. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that, just that, just the first look video. Um, but I'm really, really excited. I'm excited about all this gear. I'm excited to take it out. And I'm excited for you to come along and watch me on my trips this year. So that's it. That's my new gear for 2023. Don't tell my wife, she will be upset. So tell me in the comments what new gear you bought this year. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.